It is a very cold January afternoon and I am very excited for tonight because I'm going to be hopefully getting my best ever image yet on the Horsehead Nebula. I did recently shoot this target on a video, but I'm going to have another go at it. And the reason why is because I just haven't been happy with the results I've been getting on this target. And I just, I absolutely love this target, so I want an image that I can look at and just say wow to. And that's my goal for tonight. So now I'm going to snow shovel because you don't want to be tripping with expensive Astro equipment up here or while you're on the way up the stairs. So I'm gonna have to get all the snow off the stairs. It is very windy. This is a dry snow and the snow is just blowing around like sand, it is crazy. You know, one of the coldest temperatures I ever did Astro in was a temperature of feels like negative four Fahrenheit, which by the way, was not a very enjoyable experience. I don't recommend it, but I am a diehard astrophotographer and I gotta get the job done. Even if that means frostbite. No, not really, don't get frostbite. Well, I made it up here with the amount and I gotta say, the stairs were not too, too slippery. So that's good. Gotta make sure these cords don't touch the snow though. Gonna have to keep them up. Now we gotta go get all the other equipment. You gotta make sure none of these cords hit the ground with all the snow which there isn't much snow because I did shovel. But still to be safe, you don't want to have it touch the ground. Now for the setup, we have the same setup as usual. We have the Iodtron Sim 26 as our mount, the Quattro 150P for our telescope. We have the ASI Air controlling everything, including the camera, which is the ASI 585. And then for our guide camera, we have the ASI 120MM Mini with the sp 30 millimeter guide scope. And we actually, actually did get this new newer dew shield for this guide scope my old one broke so i had to get a new one replaced and i'm trying this one out and it seems to work pretty well so hopefully with that new dew shield in place we won't have a bunch of water drops and frost building up on the front of my guide scope causing guiding errors to happen which you obviously do not want okay so i did get a plan together that i think is going to work pretty well i'm going to shoot until about nine o'clock using broadband data to add on to my already existing broadband data and then i might switch over to the filter like the ellen hands to get some ha data in there and make the ha a lot more punchy and a lot more boosted and i'm hoping that goes to plan if it doesn't and i don't end up getting ha that is okay but my goal is to somehow get ha data now if you are a beginner to astrophotography let me tell you where the horsehead nebula is located and what it is it is a dark molecular cloud that sits in front of a very bright wall of hydrogen alpha gas and it is located near the star out attack which is one of the three very bright stars of orion's belt it's not too hard to locate, especially since it is near the very bright Orion Nebula or Messier 42. All right, so we are out here and we're going to uh, get polar alignment. So we're going to go to the PA mode. We're going to press play and then the mount is going to slew and we're gonna start taking our polar alignment subs going to use the knobs on the side of the mount and we are going to get it aligned with the North Star Polaris so the mount knows exactly where it is and how to track. The ASI Air is super helpful in weather like this because you control your rig all on your phone. You don't have to leave a laptop out here in the cold and you can check your guiding and stuff in the house. <laughs> and so it is super convenient for super cold weather like this. And also you can get up and running super fast with the ASI Air software. We can slew to our horse head. Now this isn't our current framing. It's just showing that because it hasn't played soft yet and actually got a full preview. But yeah, we can just point right towards horse head and it is going to slew there. Right now we are just focusing up. We're trying to get the stars as sharp as possible. And they are already looking very sharp, but it, we still need a little bit more touch-ups to do in the focus before we can actually get to our imaging session. And we're gonna be taking five minute exposures. It is just such a beautiful night out here. Stars are beautiful. We have a half moon over there setting. But over here, you can see Orion, Kindness Major. We have Leo rising behind the house there. And it is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous night. Last night was an amazing and beautiful night. Now, I didn't get the HA data I was hoping for. I looked at the data and realized I should just spend the time getting broadband data while I can. 
but I gotta say I am still very pleased with how this image came out and I think it is my best horse head image to date. And I still might add HA data on this in the future, but for now I'm gonna wrap this up.